Naciones Unidas para la Educación, Chapel of the Holy Cross was long held to be a Romanesque building. In fact, it slowly reveals Carolingian mysteries. The Chapel of the Holy Cross is full of surprises. Below, there's a crypt. Originally, there was no altar. It was a place for burials. What's striking about the chapel is the timbered ceiling between the lower and upper floor. It dates back to the years 785 to 788. It's incredible to see how it continues to fulfill its original function after more than 1,200 years. These beams were constructed exactly as they are and have not been altered since. This is the chapel with the three apses. When light comes in from the east, an unbelievable force unfolds in the chapel's architecture. Here there are wall paintings, stuccos, marble recesses, everything that could be used to artistically decorate the Chapel of the Holy Cross. The paintings from the construction period were repeatedly painted over so that we had a thick layer of paint that started to peel away. The first layer of painting to be discovered was from 1889. Underneath, there's another layer, and so it's possible to dig deeper and deeper into history. Today, the Carolingian paintings are revealed at every spot where the painted layers on top are peeling away. In this way, whole pictures emerge that are in various states of conservation. But we do not remove anything from the more recent paintings. For us, the old ones are not more valuable. All are as interesting and important as the others. That's why we tried to preserve everything. What is exciting is that the subjects of the paintings have remained largely the same as in the Carolingian era. 